Hey everyone, we hope that your Christmas season has been going well. But we do recognise that Advent can be a time of year where, whilst it may be full of fun and celebration, it may also be a time where things just don't quite go to plan. Well, mine certainly hadn't gone well. Well, be that as it may. Hey everyone, I hope your Saturday has started well today. Thanks for joining us for the devotional. Today the word that we're going to be thinking about is the word sign. And it comes from our text, which is from the Gospel of Luke today, chapter 2, and verses 8 through 12. The verse I wanted to pull out specifically was verse 12, where it says, This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloths and lying in a manger. When I was a kid, I don't know about you, but there were times when I went on vacations in the mountains, and there were various trails. And to mark those trails, there were these little signs. And they may have been just like a little dot, which may have been red or green or blue or what have you. Uh, but it was a, so it was a small thing, right? In many ways, it was, a, it was a humble thing. But boy, did you need it, because if you, if you didn't have that to guide you, you would get lost. Uh, the manger was a sign for the shepherds. It was a sign that had, uh, was, was humble in itself, but pointed to something much greater. It pointed to the Messiah, the Savior of the world. Uh, so as we think about that sign today, I think there are two things that I'd encourage you to, to take from that. The first thing is that the manger is, is a sign that is an invitation. It's an invitation to come and worship the Messiah, to worship the one who condescended, who came down and, and surrendered the glory and majesty and splendor of heaven. You think about uh, prophets like Ezekiel and Isaiah and the vision they had uh, of, of Jesus, of the Lord, uh, as he was seated in heaven uh, and the train of his robe filled the temple uh, and, and the, the living elders bowing down and saying, holy, holy, holy. Uh, all these ways in which Jesus surrendered these things in Philippians, uh, Paul talks about how he emptied himself and, and having humbled himself even to death on a cross, uh, he entered into human existence and gave his life from that moment in the, in the manger, from that moment of being born in the most humble of circumstances uh, to a blue collar family. They fled to seek asylum uh, in, in Egypt. Just all the things he went through for us. But it was in that state of humility and out of that state of humility that the words of Scripture come true, that the meek shall inherit the earth. And Scripture says that, therefore God highly exalted him and gave him the name above all names. Because in that state of humility, in that state of obedience to even death on a cross, that's where Jesus, uh, in the power of surrender, breaks the power of sin and death and is victorious over all things. So the invitation is to come and worship, to worship Christ, the Christ child, but also the one who is the savior of the world. But I think the other thing that the, the manger points to uh, is that certainly even as it was a sign, so we ourselves uh, are signs to those around us of the goodness of Christ. As a, as a, as a teenager, I remember there was a kid in my school, uh, his name was Andy. And I, I kind of got to know him. He was in a, in a group of guys that we played soccer together. And I, I happened to notice over the weeks that we played together, he never cursed. Uh, and when people said unkind things or mean things about him or to him, he, he never responded in like. And there was a point where I just said, to him, Andy, are you a Christian? And he said, yeah, yeah. And he became one of my best friends. But I, I guess I, I saw in him signs that pointed to a greater good, that pointed to Jesus. So perhaps even today, uh, think about how you may use your life to be a sign to others. And perhaps if someone has been assigned to you, uh, maybe you want to share that in the comments below, perhaps ways in which people have been a blessing to you and have perhaps pointed to, to Christ himself. It's good to be with you today. Have a great day.